Hi, this is Mrs. Reynoso from the Loma Vista Middle School Library. I am the teacher librarian here. Uh, we're going to go over some of our print and digital resources that we have available in the library. So if we go ahead and I'm going to open this tab here. This is a report of our entire middle school library collection. Um, we currently have 13,603 items in our collection. The average age is 2008. We have 12.7 items per student, which I find that pretty good. As far as fiction and nonfiction, we have 50% fiction, 50% nonfiction. If you remember correctly, fiction is learning through information or imagination, and nonfiction it would be learning through information. And I reference that a lot when you guys come into the library. Um, as far as the different items we have, you can see here we have a lot of um, science technology items. We have a lot of arts and recreation items. I, when I say item, I mean materials and books. Um, as far as literature, uh, we have a lot of literature. However, this classification is a little different, but in the fiction category, we have a, a ton of literature there. As far as history and geography, we have a lot of information and biographies. If you are doing any uh, reports for social studies and history, we have a lot of information for you to reference. Uh, reference materials are very slim. We will be working on those in the next upcoming school year. So look for more reference materials at that time. All right, and then moving along, we have lots of different fiction books. We have some easy fiction, a little bit, um, and then lots of regular general fiction. And we have lots of graphic novels. We have a ton of Spanish items because we are a um, dual language immersion school. So we have a lot of DLI related books. So a lot of Spanish books, because that's the other language that we have here um, that some of you are in classes for, and you know that you can come and get a book in Spanish. We have a lot of diverse titles in our collection, which supports an environment that values and supports diversity, equity, in, in, and inclusion, which is very important for our school. Um, a lot of books on social and emotional learning that help to support the emotionally intelligence and establish relationships and make responsible decisions. A wide range of books in different reading levels. So depending on if you pick a book and it's difficult for you, you might need an easier book, you might need a harder book. Um, you are always welcome to ask me at any time. So I'm going to scroll back on up here and we're going to go ahead and look at our ebooks. So our ebooks and digital books, uh, we do not have a lot of ebooks and digital books in our collection, mostly because our population of students, you guys out there, um, don't really check out a lot of ebooks. So we don't really spend money and have licenses for ebooks because a lot of my students prefer books in print. However, if that changes in the upcoming year or so, we may have some more items. Um, in digital format, so audiobooks and ebooks. I myself really love audiobooks and ebooks, so I think that would be a great addition to our collection, but maybe not just yet. I want to see how many students really um, want to begin using those resources. Okay, as far as digital resources, for students, we have a lot of digital resources. So this is just an example of our class link. Um, I know a lot of the students are very up to date on how to use class link. So you will see here, we've got some uh, Adobe Express for education, Brain Pop. Um, some of these are also for me because I am a teacher. So some of them may not apply to you. Um, our Destiny catalog is here and we'll go over that another time. Formative. Uh, you might use that in class. I know you use that in math class. Um, Nearpod, tutor.com, which is a great, great resource uh, for students to use. So actually, we're going to go ahead and look at tutor.com because I know a lot of my students have not been really using it. Let's see if I can get it to launch. All right, and tutor.com is really, really neat. Uh, basically, you can go on here at any time and you can um, 
ask a tutor for help. And it's really neat because you'll get a live tutor in the chat. Um, it's really helpful if you're at home and you need some extra assistance. Apparently, it's not going to let me look at it in a student view, but that's okay. I just wanted you guys to see. You just click on the tab and it will open for you. All right. If you have any issues with your class link, please come see me in the library as well. Um, but these are some things we have for you guys to use. Um, we also have Gale in Context, Gale in Context for Middle School. This is for Environmental Studies. Uh, for science, and I will go through that with you at another time further along in this orientation, and we'll look more into our research databases that we have for students. All right, I hope you, you guys have an amazing day, and take care.